Hey, Laura, it's Laura Lee, and this is my 10 minute PE routine. First, I'm gonna start with my Bioscience Squalene Peptide Plumping Serum. And this is gonna keep us super hydrated all day long. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Elta MD sunscreen. I love this product. Because I like to let my sunscreen set in for like five to 10 minutes before I apply makeup on top. Now we're gonna move on to brows and I am so into the trend of bushy brows. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This product is amazing. And I just apply this with a spoolie brush and I just feel like this makes my brows look so much naturally fuller than when I over plucked them in high school. And this is all the brow that grew back. So the reason I like to apply this product first is because if you have foundation on and then you apply it, it tends to move your foundation around a little bit. So we don't want that. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. It is the best. I use the shade beige and it's like a really nice full coverage foundation. You can also use it as a concealer if you want to, if you wanna buy it in a lighter shade, but it's so good and I love how long it wears. And I actually like to use this Artiste brush to blend it in. It just creates an airbrush finish, which I'm obsessed with. And don't forget to cover your ears and drag it down to your neck because we do not want a makeup line. For concealer, I'm gonna be using my Haley Beauty Rewind Concealer. I love this one because it does increase and it wears really well for a long time. And I'm in the shade Light Neutral. So I'm just gonna apply that to cover any darkness. We're gonna brighten with it. And then I'll take a little brush and just smooth it out to where we're gonna get that coverage. I'm gonna highlight my forehead, my cupid's bow. I get a little red around the nose. And then also my chin. Next, I'm gonna take my LL Beauty sponge and I'm going to smooth the rest of this out, which is just gonna help move it around. And then whatever's left on the Beauty Blender, I'm going to just pat my eyelid with because if you can see, I have redness on my lid and this just helps to cover that. But I'll also use this as my eyeshadow primer. This is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in shade light. It is a cream contour product and I like it because it just blends out so easy. Like it's shocking how easy it blends out. Only it takes a few seconds. Okay, next we need to set all this makeup. So I'm just gonna jump in with my face powder. This is the Hourglass Vel Powder. I'm obsessed because it's so loomy. So I'm gonna take my L21 brush and I like to do this on a big powder brush because I just kind of go crazy and just put it everywhere. And this really just locks all those cream products right into our face. Okay, back to our under eyes. We're gonna go in with a Too Faced Born This Way. This is a great matte translucent setting powder and it's my favorite to use on the under eye. I'm going to take the pointy side of my sponge and we're going to bake the cake and make sure this is nice and set so it stays really bright. Okay, while this is setting, I'm now going to add some bronzer on top of our setting powder. This is the Lala's Summer Kiss. This is their Velvet Matte Bronzer. It's so nice. And I'm just going to apply it with an angled brush and just kind of like press it in where we have that contour. And then also a tip I like to do is just apply it to my jaw. I'll just go ahead and that creates a really nice shadowing for a sharp jawline. Next, let's do some blush. So I'm gonna be using my Laura Lee Los Angeles Blush Aesthetic Palette. So I'm gonna dive in and use Caramel Cream and Tiger Lily. I like to mix these two shades together. I'm a mixer of makeup. I love just mixing colors and playing with makeup. And then sometimes I like to hit my nose with it. 
For my highlighter, I'm gonna grab Golden Haze, which is this gorgeous gold color. A little on the cheek, maybe a little on the nose if we're getting crazy. And then I'm gonna go back to this because I like to use this dense brush to sweep away any excess powder that we don't need anymore. Okay, now let's get down to business. We're gonna finish these eyebrows. So I like to just comb through and fill in any areas that I feel like are a little sparse. So what I like to do next is take a little bit of the concealer on a flat brush and I will just clean up underneath my brow to sharpen that up a little bit. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna bump into my Nudie Patootie palette. So I just pop this into the crease and blend it out. And then on the same brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit and run it on my lower lash line. And we're just gonna have a little monochromatic look because this is the only shade of eyeshadow we're using. And that is how easy our eyes are because our face looks complicated. Now this is the worst part, wing liner. I still mess up my wing liner every day and I've been doing wing liner for I think 10 years now. And I'm gonna be using my tattoo liner. This is from KBD Beauty. My thing is with wing liner, you can really never have a plan for it. I feel like the wing liner has a plan for you. And some days it's gonna be thick wing liner. Some days it's gonna be high up wing liner. I just get what the wing liner gives me. Today it's looking pretty solid on this eye. So now I'm gonna take the Smooth Silk Eye Pencil by Giorgio Armani in black, and I'm gonna fill in my waterline. And it's shocking how much this will enhance your eye look and like define your eyes. Pretty amazing. And now we're gonna curl our lashes. I'm just gonna give it a pump. And now I'm going to add the Hello Lashes from It Cosmetics. And I feel like it really gives them a little lift, gives the girls a little lift. But this is the Mac Giga Black Mascara. It has this really skinny wand on it and it grabs those lower lashes without getting it on your skin, on your lower lash line. So it's just perfect for the lower lashes. So I'm gonna pop on this lash here. So I like to give them a bend. And then the best part about lashes that you're reusing is you don't have to recut them. And voila, we have lashes. Okay, now we're gonna do our lips. And I just barely like to overline the top of my cupid's bow, but then I'll connect it once we get back to my lip. And then I'll fill in a little bit. This is how much of this lipstick I have left, which is so sad. Clearly I love it. And I like to apply this on top of the brown lip liner. And then a couple coats back and forth. Okay, and then it looks like this but we're not done yet. We have a third lip product. This is the Maybelline Hot Sand Matte Nude Lipstick. One of my favorites. And I like to then go in with this and apply it to the center of my lips. And then lastly, I will take a uh, lip brush. Any synthetic black brush will work. And I like to blend it together because I feel like it just needs a little blending. And we can't forget setting spray. So I'm gonna use a classic, an oldie, but a goodie. This is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray, and we're gonna spritz. 
and don't forget this Patrick Ta fan. We are going to make sure everything is dry and ready to go. Laura, this was so much fun. Thank you for being here for my 10 minute beauty routine. I will see you guys later. Bye guys.